in history, literature, philosophy, at academic level, but she had never been told anything. She was completely unequipped, completely without resistance to any kind of historical understanding about things that she claimed, by the way, prehensively, without even knowing how to explain so much that he had asked me in the first place because she was curious, that I, in the moment I, I, you know how long I can talk, in the moment I began to to address the thing, just, oh, now I feel so stupid because I asked that question, oh, sorry, now, yes, oh, it all makes sense. I mean, in part, she may have thought that because I'm European, I may have, have <laughs> you know, kind of a different opinion, she didn't want to, you know, but, but she seems convinced and tr th thoroughly, you know, impressed and sorry and, you know, somewhat like, how could I be so stupid to think something like that? And that is basically the entire leftistic agenda on, on the history front, let's say. So I realized in that moment that this girl, bor born and raised in Vietnam, from a Vietnamese father, a Chinese mother, but perfectly capable of integrating herself with very good levels of, of proficiency um, in in the American Academy was completely deprived, not much in, in it was completely bought by uh, the anti-American, uh, mostly, and Western uh, colonialist, the, the whole thing, um, leftistic agenda in the United States. She never expressed things like, I'm in Vietnam, we're fighting for their freedom, my father fought for No, they, they were, you know, they, she was very understandable, for, uh, she was very understanding, for example, towards dictatorship. She hated uh, dictatorships, she thought communism was bad, so she didn't think great of, of of what had happened in Southeast Asia at all, even after the departure of uh, Europeans, and uh, of the Westerners. But, so she was a completely Western person to me. When I realized up to uh, at that point that, you know what, a person who believes in that, that is to say that there is something inherently wrong with the West, the, the Westerners are racist, it must be cultural, it's their fault, whatever, means that you're not a Westerner. And so n nobody, also born and raised in the West, or perfectly capable of integrating in the West, is a Westerner, if they believe the same thing. Because factually it means they don't know anything about history itself. They don't get the basic moral principles right. They just carry out an incredibly ignorant and simplistic uh, jacuzzi fundamentally towards westernness and nothing else. right? Uh, for those who... I will talk about colonialism if you're interested in the future, but let's say... Um, you see, it's not that there has ever been a moment during Western colonialism where Westerners didn't reflect on their role of colonizers, in which they didn't say, you know, what are we doing, right? That we're just sitting there and just thinking that the, uh, the others were just a bunch of primitive animals that had to be destroyed or massacred for, for the taste of it. Westerners didn't think that exactly for the same reason for which they succeeded in colonialism. Colonialism is over, it was just, you know, of course, uh, uh, in part, there is also the, the Western defeat in that, there's no doubt, but let's say, for anybody who has, like, a cultural background, um, there can't be such a simplistic explanation for historical issues. Like, it's not a mystery what Westerners thought when they were colonizers. And for everybody who knows that, which should derive from an, an average secondary education, you know that, first of all, just it was a different context, but secondly, even in, at that point, the Westerners thought of themselves in ways that were, you know, reflecting on the same issue, were bringing on the fore, after all, positive principles at the same time. Um, for not talking about the, the allegedly evil nature of the United States and all this bullshit of the fact that America was intrinsically r founded on racism and slavery and all this bullshit. This is just even also just a complete fabrication. You can't believe in seriously if you are even just a literate individual. Right, so uh, I'm sure I, I missed something in the whole thing. Um, I... Uh, uh, 
you know, I could make other examples of people from other areas of the world. The truth is also that I don't know enough about so many other countries that I would like to know. I just noticed that, uh, in general, to me, being a Westerner lays mostly in the capacity of having a rational, critical thinking, confidence in yourself, uh, the degree of aggressiveness that you need to take any step to ensure that things go in a rational sense. Uh, so aggressiveness as that primordial instinct that we all have, but one thing is to just deliver in hubris and violence in terrifying things that you find in many other places in the world for no sense or reason. Another thing is using violence when it must be used just for enforced law and order and discipline and creating prosperity that is necessary to to make to move things onwards without any oppression and uh, as a matter of fact creating the most uh, the, the freest count the societies uh, in the world uh, in the uh, in the measure in which you can live next to, to another person peacefully with the highest degree of prosperity which doesn't seem to be in fact freedom is a not not an absolute value I mean, absolute freedom is just being a person out there that goes out kill everybody just as they please this is not what we have been building for millennia of great political, institutional, juridical work based on this idea of consensual government of cooperation, of respect of progress, uh, liberties and you know universal values, etc. And also of equality. And however mitigated uh, by still rules that must be obeyed for the collective good and etc and so being able to identify to distinguish political th the necessity of of political action even of military action in ways that again elsewhere haven't been why well, have been quite universal in the sense that politics and war are universal in many ways and some core principles are the base but again to f to to make functioning that prodigious balance that we have kept for for some time in the world now in the West, that nobody has has uh, ever achieved yet, is is another thing, um, and I could tell you in the most banal ways that uh, it has to do with with knowledge, that you cannot be reasonable and clear and intelligent if you don't know things. Because all the people who I've met from other places, even from my own, uh, you know, from within my own country, from within my own continent as much as in the world is that the lowest the level for example of literacy of capacity of expression does correspond to greater stupidity it's not an opinion if you know how to formulate a complex thought and to lay it out uh, effectively and with logic and uh, proper lexicon and getting to the point uh, to, in order to be understood because you know what you're saying it and why um, also thinking about your interlocutor as a target in this world it, it means you belong to a civilizationally superior context if you find that crime and uh, and uh, blind aggressiveness and kind of lack of contempt for others it, it corresponds to also uh, lower levels of literacy and uh, higher levels of paranoia uh, and disbelief and insecurity and resentment that you you start uh, complexes of inferiority of social uh, envy of stuff you, you start realizing that that is not what you have habituated we've been habituated to right and again this is not a cultural difference this is a difference in the degree of of moral achievement, spiritual achievement, moral, scientific one. The more you know, the better you are, the better you can do. And everybody can do that all over the world. Right? And if you haven't got to that point, you have to work to improve. Otherwise, it's nobody's fault. right? Even if you're raised in, in situations that were disadvantaged, that's still not a justification for doing something negative or to attack those who have done more. Um, because you think that that that's their fault if you are in the way you are because you can afford to do that only in the moment in which you t you you top that level and you surpass it and you know how to demolish the, the point of the other person and that is something which I 
I think many Westerners are losing and they should rediscover um, by essentially knowing how it happened and why it happened. And and I'm trying my best on Schwerpunkt to give an idea of of that. Right? And it's not easy because these are very controversial topics and people generally speaking don't understand them or don't want to understand or feel that I'm just uh, you know extremistic in some ways or I'm intolerant or maybe they think that I'm racist or anything. They, if so, I think that the problem stands maybe in my civilizational <laughs> um, say failure because I don't express myself well enough or maybe it's because they also don't quite wanna know or and they correspond to you know what I think is not really how civilizational models should be right and that's a question that you you can always profitably ask yourself because answering that pushes you to be a better person and that's what makes the difference right so it's not a Western thing the West does not exist it's all about humanity and that's what we should truly recover not in a humanitarian sense but in a human sense which are two different things and uh, again I would have liked to add so many more things but I let's stop it here because the video is too long in any case I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please share it otherwise leave a like or subscribe to my channel if you're interested in my upcoming content and for now, I thank you heartily for listening to me. See you next time. Bye.